What's up guys? Okay, so we're down in Adelaide today. Uh, I promised that the next video, which is now this video, was going to be a pretty cool one. Uh, we are at a very famous dude's workshop here in Adelaide. And not famous because of the workshop side of things. Famous because of football. Alright, here we are. Hey buddy! Hey mate! <laughs> how you going? Good, how are you? Look who it is! <laughs> Come on in. So this is Charlie Dixon, and uh, most of you will probably know who you are because of obviously the football side of things and uh, always on the TV every week and um, yeah, it's it's honestly, it's awesome to be here mate, so thanks for inviting me oh, down. Thanks for coming down. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really keen to obviously show you guys that um, he has a whole other full-time job outside of his uh, <laughs> football and that's running Chuck's Garage, which he's just sort of started up. Um, this Which is, is why you're here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And um, I'll let Charlie explain everything he does here. We're going to go over his cars, uh, his passion for motorsport, and um, and yeah, I I got to be honest, I'm freaking loving it because there's something so damn good just over in the corner <laughs> here that I'm I really really want to get one. So, uh, but yeah, we'll get into all that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, firstly, start with who you are. Yeah. What you do and. Um, where we are. All right, so, well, I play football for a living. I play for Port Adelaide. I uh, have done for six years now, nearly uh, nearly seven years, I think. So, um, but my real passion is cars. I mean, yeah, football, it's a job, but um, this is my real passion. And uh, I've started a new segment on my channel called Chuck's Garage. And um, we've been talking for a little while and been meaning to catch up and do, do a bit of a collab. Yeah. And, um, we finally got down here and we both sort of managed to get some time yeah. off, which is good. But um, Bloody yeah, hope. so I've got a couple of cars in the works at the moment. Um, one that's, that was running perfectly fine and everything <laughs> like that, but I decided to pull it apart and try and change some things. As we as do. do. Um, <laughs> just purchased a new car. Um, Can't wait to talk about to that. To do some drifting and whatnot. <laughs> um, I've got uh, an F truck 76, 77. 67 F truck that I've been building for the last few years as well, and um, and that's the most exciting one because yeah. we'll we'll talk about that in a minute. No, that's no the is that the no no that's that one outside. That's the F truck. Oh, the HX is oh is sorry one over there yeah so which isn't here yet so but and caught but uh, Jake's eye yes so just quickly um, could you explain what it takes like obviously quickly it's not about all this yep. but um and you probably get sick of getting asked this all the time but what does it take to maintain an afl career sort of thing like your weekly sort of schedule yeah so basically um we get sort of one day off a week um but a lot of half day sort of things but most of the time it's just recovery yep. um through the through the season because it's, it's quite high demand and and with covid and all that sort of stuff we're yeah. sort of on our toes and our schedules aren't really we don't get them until sort of like the week of, yep. so we don't really know where we're going to end up. We like we know who we're playing, we just don't know when and yep. where. And at the moment, it's um, it's been a little bit frustrating with that. We got sent to Melbourne a couple of weeks ago just to, because there was a one case somewhere, and and they locked the state locked everything down, and as it all as it's all crazy, so we went to Melbourne for about four days and then flew back because there was nothing here. Jeez. But um, yeah, so mainly it's um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday. Um, and then Saturday play or Sunday or Sunday play and then sometimes we get um, Thursday night and Friday night games and yep. then we're able to sort of have a few days off after that but most of the time she's pretty full time and because um, it's, yeah. it's the fitness side is one aspect obviously is very important yeah you've got media to do you've got everything to do within like this there's probably like businesses inside businesses for yeah. the whole thing. It's not yeah, well, that's it. There's just layers upon layers yeah. of sort of like the, what we sort of need to do and what we need to do to keep our bodies right. And COVID sort of pulls that stuff back where we can't really go out to too much in the public because of COVID. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's um, it's still quite quite high demand on um, on us physically, mentally, yeah. and uh, in that aspect, and um, keeping yourself sane and. Because we are, we do play in front of a lot of people, and um, people do like to tell us how what yeah. we should and shouldn't do, and and what we're allowed to do, but yep. um, tell us that they pay our bills and whatnot. But um, <laughs> that's just not the case. But and I, I struggle with that sort of stuff because you know I just people say a lot of things to me. Oh. Um, 
on social media, but that they wouldn't say in front of me, yeah. stand in front of me. So, um, in which sort of that's that's a battle in itself, you know. But um, right. anyway, that's uh, but this stuff, this stuff keeps me sane, and, yeah. and I'm able to pull myself completely away from football and get in here and and break stuff and then have to go get it fixed by someone who knows what they're doing so, <laughs> so reason i wanted to ask that question guys is just so you can sort of understand how much effort is put into this outside of his football career because like you said you know there's there's that much going on and then you've also got all this backlash from people you know if you don't yeah. kick a goal mm. anyway we're not going to get into that but I, <laughs> I just want you guys to understand this is pretty crazy for uh, for what you've done. So uh, yeah. yeah, let's get into it, eh? Absolutely. Where do we want to go first? <laughs> we'll go to your favourite car. I'm going to put the pressure on you. Yeah. So these are uh, my mate um, VL and American XR or something. He, yeah. <laughs> he helps. Um, he sort of goes in with me to shed. So. Yep. But this one is pretty much the main main car on the channel at the moment. It's um, like I said, I've pulled it apart and bits and pieces, but it's a uh, um, LS1 stroke to 383 um, with the GDX 42. So, and like it's been together for a, a while now, and I'm just sort of getting stuff ready for uh, drag challenge. So, yep. the call pack was sort of in the front here and sort of was just wrapped around sort of in here. And because I'm going to be driving it sort of a fair way, I'm sort of just transferring everything into, um, into the car so I just get away from a bit of heat and few other bits and pieces that I've done, like a new overflow tank. Yep. Just so I can get as much heat out, some uh, steam vents. Yeah. Which, um, from Cliff McFarlane's um, <laughs> Motion Raceworks, whatever it is. So um, we're all we're all in this massive community where like, so you're obviously watching Cletus, yeah. I watch Cletus. We yeah. obviously watch when we can. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, we watch each other's channel. Oh, and that's another very important Thing here, guys, that he has his own YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal, not steal clips, but like chuck the yeah, yeah, videos absolutely. here, there, and everywhere. Because yeah, yeah, sure. I want you guys to go to one of these videos that I'm gonna put somewhere on the screen right now, where he's at a roll racing event. Um, and yeah, it's, I don't know, I love them, mate. Yeah. Like, they're just, they're good, they're enjoyable to watch. So, that, but on sure. that, um, can you just explain? You said something about a drag week. Yeah, so um, in October the 21st, um, there's Drag Week, and basically you go to a different bu a bunch of different racetracks. You start in Calder, uh, Heathcote, and um, there's a couple others, but you sort of end up cruising around um, racetracks, racing, and you sort of, um, yeah, you're in a certain category, what your car is, and go from there. I don't really care about what category I'm in. Yeah. I'm just going there to get through it, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I did it with uh, Frank from Dandy Engines in in Fair XY, which is a 2500 horsepower yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, XW Falcon with leaf springs that runs like 6'9 at 200 mile an hour. So that was a, an experience in itself. But um, yeah, I've been wanting to do it and I've got a car that can do it. Doesn't look like it can do much at the minute, but it, it will. And uh, so yeah, I'm. Um, I'm pretty keen to do that. It's going to be it's going to be good fun. Bloody hell. So let's get a rundown of this thing. Yeah. That's obviously an LS. <laughs> yeah, so LS one with the uh, sort of stroked, uh, yeah, stroke to a three eighty three. Yep. It's got a power glide behind it. It used to be manual. I was I wanted to keep it manual, but to go fast, I needed and I couldn't change the gears very well. You'll <laughs> see if you're any watching my videos, I'm no good at that. But um. Yeah, so it's got a two-speed power glide in it now. It's got a nine-inch conversion from Castle Main with a few modifications. And um, yeah, it's got a full cage in it, probably a few too many bars in it from what I wanted. There was a bit of miscommunication on my end. <laughs> but it's, um, but yeah, it's got uh, a Heltec in it. It's got a Motec um, C1212, so the yep. big screen that's been molded in the dash. Um, I don't know, what else was there? Like Plasma Man in, um, in that manifold and all that sort of stuff. So oh, that's over there. That's over there. Yeah. With my part shelf over there. <laughs> but it's still the alloy block, so it's pretty uh, basic. It's running 17 pound, makes 600 rear wheel kilowatt at the moment. Jesus. And um, yeah, it's like it's so much nicer driving the street with the, with the glider. Yeah. You know? It's just like bang, you're in top gear and you can just cruise <laughs> around. And, like, not that I drive it too much on the street, but. It's, it's good fun and um, 
I was driving it a fair bit because there was no races and I couldn't with footy, so I was just cruising around the streets a little bit and <laughs> going to a few meets and just playing around. Because you can't do anything else. No. <laughs> without getting in trouble. But um, yeah, it's, um, it's not bad. Yeah, it's we'll have a look inside. Inside. Keen to see the dash and everything, how yeah, you've managed to. start it all up because all the fuel lines and shit are open, but. Yep. It's. You can get in there and up Because, like, seriously, if anyone's seen one of these dashes, for them to be able to fit that in there and make it look nice is yeah. quite incredible. Yep. Jeez, it looks good in here, man. On the velo seats. Yep. The boys at Velo looked after me there as well, so. Jesus. So everything still works? Like, all your. Uh, yeah, so CD player, no aircon though. Yep. Um, apparently not allowed that. <laughs> the boys were like, we're not keeping the aircon when they're it. It's too much mucking around, so I was like, all right, get rid of it. But, um, yeah. Jesus. Um, How do you go for headroom? Because you're a massive dude. What yeah, are you, six? Six, eight, just, I think. So, I, when I, I'm all right if I'm just driving around. Like, this is the first time I've had the full cage in in a while. Yep. It's sort of well, um, half weld in, half bolt in. I should have just gone full bolt in. Would have made me a, made it a lot easier, but um, those are the things you learn along the way. Definitely. <laughs> but um, Definitely. I pull all the all the seat um, foam out and I sit in the hard shell. Oh, I'm the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Put the helmet on and like back your head on top. Um, yeah, I did. I'll probably end up changing a seat just so I can. Um, uh, so yeah, it's yeah. Still, I might even have to go to a Kirky because I should have just cut the floor. Which I didn't, and um, so that's another thing I'll have to do. But I'll probably get a Kirky for drag challenge because it's just a bit too hard. Yeah. With these and um, with uh, the harnesses and whatnot as well. So, but other than that, yeah, I've gone with all the all the suede look. Yeah, no, it looks good. On stitching, I had like these other the original seats made up, and like, but yeah, ended up just selling them because they were too big, and I couldn't yeah. <laughs> couldn't get a helmet on with with everything else. So. But yeah, it's um, it's been a good car. I mean, like uh, we've sort of beat on it every time we drive it out, and it's and sort of touch wood. It's been it's been quite good. So hopefully, oh, I can get to roll racing next week if I pull my finger out and put it all together again. Yeah. But, yeah. So on that, it's kind of twisted my arm to do it again too. Yeah. So, so I think I think we should go out. I think we should. Yeah. Like I'm gonna that. put my entry in and uh, yeah. It's just uh, it's sort of. Not too many events these days, so here in Adelaide, so yep. it's good to, and the, and the amount of people that show up there, it's, it's yeah. awesome. It makes it makes it a good event. Definitely. So this is obviously the drag car. Yeah. And then what? What have we got here? This is a new one. <laughs> a very new one. Not that I needed a new project, but <laughs> with the, with the other ones I've got going on, but I wish you picked this up last week. I've been I found it like two years ago, and I was still up. And I was like, I want, I want to get into drifting because there's always events on, there's always stuff, and like, and there's nothing better than like throwing a car out and like yeah. trying to trying to hang on to it. Like, not that I know how to do that, but I want to. Oh, learn. you'll learn quick. Yeah, and um, and I've got a heap of parts laying around. So I got a 256 that was out of that big clutch, the fuel system that'll be coming out of the rear of that. Got another one. Uh, I've got a six liter loom. I just. Uh, got a forged six litre off of May. So you're putting an LS in this? LS. Yeah, LS. So there is one in Adelaide. One of these with the LS in it. Is there? Um I can't remember the dude's name. And like to show me. Yeah. Because um, yeah. And like there's so many companies out there that do a lot of sort of bits and pieces for them that to make them work. So yep. but I shouldn't need a whole lot to sort of get this get this going. But um, Do you reckon the gearbox will fit in there? I don't know, they've seen that, that people have done them, so, but uh, Jason Tough Mounts, he, uh, he said he was going to help me out with um, some mounts and trans mount and whatnot. Yep. So, but there's, like I said, a lot of companies do like extractors and yeah. radiators and everything that just sort of like bolt straight in, so um, that's sort of like probably the way I'll go to get it sort of on the road pretty quick, but um, yeah, I'm keen to do like Adelaide Rally and stuff like that as well. Oh and yeah. Just like, just Bloody try hard. and get out to as many events as I can because like, you know, we don't have a drag strip at the moment. Yep. And, and like, I don't, I want, I'm going to try and get over to Heathkit because that seems to be the racetrack yep. that's sort of going every weekend now. Is but, that Victoria? Yeah, yeah. 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 So 
Um, but yeah, so that's that's the plan. But I want to be able to sort of stay here in, in Adelaide and, and go thrash, thrash on my cars without um, having to travel and, and with my schedule not having to, you know, like yeah. quarantine or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that ain't going anywhere. Yeah, no, exactly. That's it's, gonna it's be gonna be here forever. Yeah, by the look of it. But um, yeah, yeah. So this is um, this is the other project that I've just picked up. It's God. It's <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some modifications to get myself in there. But yeah, <laughs> you're definitely gonna need to. Well, hopefully, not cut the cage out because no, it's. I reckon there's a little bit of room there. Like I can get myself in there. <laughs> But um, I'll probably have to change all of this and yep. get something, something like yours. Would be, yeah, would be nice. bloody oath. <laughs> well, you're fitting mine good. Ish, good ish. Yeah, exactly. Needs Still a little good. bit of modifying, but, uh... <laughs> but awesome. Yeah, this, is, this one it shouldn't take too long to get together, and the sooner I can do that, the sooner we can go and some fun. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Bloody oath. So that's that one? That's that one. <laughs> your, your favorite. Let's right. go to the next one. So this is, obviously this is all your yeah, LS stuff. Pretty much, yeah, all the LS stuff with, um, I'm just getting the injectors clean and tested because the E85 is yeah, obviously bad stuff. Bad stuff. And um, dump pipe, whatever. I try to keep everything in one area, but <laughs> there'll be some in that toolbox, some in that toolbox that I'll miss. Yeah, this is, this is my build, this one that's been going on for about six years. My grandfather's old ute, old farm ute yep. that I've, I've, I've got. And um, like I said, we've been building for six years. It's a HX um, 1977, uh, yeah, old farm ute. And I remember I sent this to him saying, I've got one. <laughs> and he goes, what are you putting in there? And I said to him, he goes, you're messing with me. You're not doing that, are you? <laughs> I was like, no, this is this is what I'm going in. And it's like, so. And, and it wasn't like you messing with me, like you're making a mistake. It was like you better not be bullshitting me because that's going to be freaking awesome. So it's basically a whole new chassis. Um, like everything's been done on this thing, nut and bolt, and um, paint is going to be ridiculous. And it just need it's supposed to. It was supposed to be here now, but we're just sort of still waiting <laughs> on a few things. But it's lucky because I haven't got it together yet, but. Not that I can put this together, but that's an RB30 billet block God. from the guys that bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he knows what he needs. Oh, that is just... God. I've got, I've got so many questions, I don't really know where to start. Well, but I probably won't be able to answer it. Oh, you will. <laughs> you will. It's all like, just why? Like, so... Firstly, why RB? Why RB? And not like an LS? Or... Yeah, well, I actually had I'm pretty, I had two LSs for it. So I bought an LSA for it. Yep. And um, like back then when they were 10 grand with everything. So oh, I had like yeah. a full, uh, all of alternator, everything fully, like a full setup, um, which apparently came out of the, when they made the GDSRs and the W1. Ah, yeah. When yep. they made the, they make the GDSRs, to make the W1, they put everything together and then they pulled it all out and then they shipped it off and they got the LS9 mm -hmm. in it. This is what I was told. So I bought one of the GDSR's LS, W1 LSA that was supposed to be in that. Yep. Something like that was what I was told. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I know people just like, oh, like to make sure you're wrong. Trust me, no one on my <laughs> channel worries about LS stuff. Yeah, but um, <laughs> well, that's good. Um, and then I was like, no, nah, it's all with the quality of the build, the, I don't, it's hard to make them look nice. Yep. So I was like, oh, I'll just get Remember that? It. Remember it? Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, it's hard to, yeah, make it look nice. So I was like, oh, I'll get a, um, I'll get a big outlet, like big cube thing and I'll put the, you know, Harrop trumpets on or something yep. like that. And then I sort of started putting that together and I was like, no, nah, don't want that. And I was like, and I went and did old nationals in that with my mates. With um, and mate had a little Toronto who was going to come to the, the shop tonight. Oh, yep, yep. With an RB30 in it. Ah. And I'm like watching all these guys go like flat out, and I'm like, <laughs> they sound awesome. And I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to do that. <laughs> so I was like, told the guy, and he was like, he was scratching, he's an old school guy, and yep. loves his Holdens and all this sort of stuff. And he's like, oh, why don't you just put a 350 Chevy in it or a 253? And I'm just like, no, this is what I want. 
So I ended up getting that. Yeah. So that's, I got oh, that yeah. 300 bucks. Yep. And then I was like going through the machining and stage and that, dropped it off and they're like, oh, it's going to, if you want this much power, it's going to cost this much. And I'm like, what? And then I was like, looking up these and I was like, maybe a grand or more. And, um, wow. and like, I mean, just for the block. Yeah. But with everything else. Yep. You know, like I, I already had that like, pistons and rods and stuff like that, but everything else, you know, like it's a much more expensive, you know, process. Yep. But the reliability in this and for what I was stretching that out to, I was like, you know what, let's just do it. The build is going to be like, the build of the car, the quality of the car is going to be up there. So I was like, you know what, I'm this just do it. fits in. This just yep. fits in. Yeah. So that's <sighs> why I went RB. Just because I had a lot of a few mates who had some killer RBs, and I was just like, you know what? The car came. The what granddad used to have it was an old 202 or yep. 186 or whatever. I was like, it came with a six on I might as well put it on back in it. So, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And that's, that's where, and this is where I'm at. So <laughs> I've got all this stuff ready to go in, and um, hopefully I can have the car here in the next month or so. That's unreal. But it's even like. Everyone would be thinking, oh, you know, you're going to chuck a 26 head on or whatever. But you're actually going single cam, single eh? Single cam, yeah. That's so freaking cool. I want to still run like the... Uh, I still want to have like the, the whole ah, cover on it. So yep. it kind of looks like it's, it's supposed to be in there. So, that is awesome. So, yeah. I mean, it's I've got most of pretty much everything I, I'm, I need for it. Yep. I just... Um, then it just sort of becomes like uh, Danny from Design Y, he's going to throw it all together for me. And, um, hope, well, I booked it in with him mid next month, so. Yep. Fingers crossed the car will be here. <laughs> and this will be together. Because <laughs> oh. there's actually a video you did that I watched where you went to Bullet. Yep. Because they're obviously not far from you, eh? No, no, not at all. They're um, about 15, 20 minutes down the road. And, yeah, wow. And like, they don't have a huge shop. Yep. Like, they've got this this shop that just works and they just pump out billet blocks and like thing is they send them everywhere yeah and like they're so cool to let me go through there and just like check out how yeah they right, do so it. that's that's what this is it and um and, um yeah a few murals that have been painted and Jack's garage is pretty much the you know main sort of draw card here yep. at the moment all of got you here and yeah basically just i know adelaide has a lot of ripping cars and um I've got a pretty cool space and it's sort of missing a few things that I, I want to sort of get and, but I needed to get this sort of rolling so there'll be a few more things coming but um, yeah just to showcase what Adelaide's you know what sort of cars Adelaide's got and the people here and to know the people in the car industry are just awesome and they want more and more stuff and they want to know more and more stuff so that was sort of just my whole reasoning behind it and having nah, a bit awesome. of big, big bit of space well not crazy big but Big enough, yeah, and um, yeah, and then enough room for me to be able to sort of work in here and all my own stuff and, and um, hang out. No, you've done bloody awesome. It's freaking wicked. And obviously, uh, your merch. Yes, you got so your merch. I've got some. Well, my main channel is called Drive with Dixon. Yep. Chuck's Garage is just a segment. So the DWD stuff. That's sort of it's an Etsy. It's an Etsy shop, so it's in the link on Drive with Dixon, and yep. um, which I'll chuck. Yeah, yeah, I'll chuck it all in the description. But yeah, so. I got a few hats, hoodies. I have got some kids' hoodies, um, t-shirts, long sleeves. Probably too much stuff for like what I'm <laughs> selling at the moment because I'm not really like you sell about six to seven stuff every now and then. Yeah, you know, I've just got to post about it and people yeah really sort of know about it. But yeah, I've got heaps of stuff. So I've got stubby holders, stickers. It's actually an RB. The RBHX, there's a sticker of that. Oh, really? So, yeah, I'll give you that. Bloody eyes. And, um, yeah, so I've got oh. a bunch of stuff. Actually, I'll, I'll go through it. Yeah, let's go stuff. through it. Uh, this plate is just a fucking mess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll give you a brim, mate. Oh, that. hell yeah. Stubby older. Legend. Stickers. And a sticker pack. That's the RBHX. Oh, I've, I've seen this picture, but not the... Yeah. Or maybe I've seen the car. You've probably seen the car. I have. I have put that up, but that is going to be unreal, man. It's going, to, and it shouldn't be too heavy either. So it'll. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a good car. Oh, I can't freaking wait. Yeah. That is going to be wicked. 
But um, yeah, this is the sort of little little office yep. that just gets shit thrown in. <laughs> I come in here and then I'll get a bunch of orders and then I'll throw a bunch of shit together and then I'll and I'll go rip and shut out the door again and won't even get to look at me cars or anything like that. So that's always the case. So but yeah, that's it is what it is. But no, oh, awesome. It's awesome. Thanks, Much man. Heaps more time to get in here. It's, it's always good fun. Bloody oath. So, there it is guys, Chuck's Garage. Appreciate your time, buddy. It's, no, uh, thanks, for, thanks for coming down, mate. It's been some time here, it's good. Yeah, no, it's wicked. I, honestly, I cannot wait to see this uh, RBHX. It's gonna be, it's gonna be mental. It's gonna be cool. But yeah, we're gonna be hanging out a lot more. Yeah. Uh, sorry in advance. No, absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna be annoying the crap out of you, no. roll racing and all this shit, so. Absolutely, nah. a little crew together would be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be wicked. So um, don't forget guys, head to his channel, check out all his videos. He's always doing pretty much exactly what I do, you know, working on the cars, uh, doing events, and um, yeah, just showing you what it's all about. It's wicked. Yep. And uh, don't forget, buy some of his merch. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, brother. Thanks, Appreciate Cheers. it. See you guys.